Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to some more of the Puppeteer. Let's uh, let's do it. Tower top security was mm -hmm. tight. The Weaver patrolled the smoke-ridden sky, swooping and slicing at anything that moved. These towers not only defended the castle walls when the Moon Bear King rebelled against the goddess, but during the ferocious final fight, they also went on the attack. Nailed it. Yeah, how you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. The tyrant later converted the towering spires to a prison, which with a bounding imagination, he dubbed well. the Prison Towers. <laughs> the crushed forces of the moon goddess were detained in his majesty's pleasure to starve, rot, and generally suffer. Only their armor remained to tell their terrible tale. I'm kind of wondering where this goes. Ooh, that got close. Ow! Oh, well, I'm gonna die. Yep, there I go. Is that all my heads? <laughs> yep, that would appear so. Bloop. Whoops, the I got greedy. The converted the towering spires to a prison, which with a bounding imagination... I got greedy. And at least you guys saw where it is. Towers. <laughs> The crushed forces of the moon goddess were detained in his majesty's pleasure to starve, rot, He's not going to show you the other way. Suffer. Only their armor remained to tell their terrible tale. Oh, God. There we go. Gorging on the power in its lord's dark seal, the weaver stretched to preposterous proportions. Kudaro knew he had to swallow his fear, step forward, and keep his head. Well, well. Looks uh -huh. like the horn has become a knight. Why do all your problems seem to come in extra large? Hold up. Oh, yeah, I should have to go over here. Nope. Too late. I have to get used to this. Woo! Ow! Thank you. Ow! Got it. be big, but it's only stitches. A snip or two should do it. Just your luck. No! Got it! Woo! Hello. Hello. I'm doing that. I'm doing this actually pretty good. There, thank you. Oh, 
Yo! Oh well, there goes that. I did it though. <laughs> Juggling. Got it. I don't know why that was not working for a minute. Got it. Check me. Hurry up and cut those souls free. What the? Oh gosh. Oh, okay, well, that's not gonna happen. Sorry, bud. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. Round two, I guess. Could this be the power he saw? Iron Ball. Okay. And... Nope! There we go! Let's go! He's going to find the night shield! How could he possibly know it was in there? Stop him! If Kutaro makes off with the shield, or the sun princess! Mark my growl! Growl! Rip that bit of moonstone right out of your mouth! When I find that idiot who blabbed about the night in front of... <laughs> Saving... and... With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Here we go. And... There we go. Kutaro had spied an old shield in the prison tower. But Tiger was hot on his heels. Where were the knight's powers? Who was this princess that had been locked up? And would Kutaro make it out of the Black Castle alive? Uh, let's go. And so the story continues. Uh, you'll recall that even after the Moon Goddess was defeated and her legion was put to rout, her loyal subjects tried to resist. Four champions, ever faithful, rose to their mistress's cause. Over a period of weeks, they concocted an elaborate plan to lead a pathetically small but equally valiant army against the Moonbear King's castle, Grizzlestein. Did it work? Well...
Onward, ye knaves! The bear shall pay the price for his crimes! They were hopelessly outnumbered, but so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. You fight well, dare I say, skillfully, but alas. <laughs> that shield will not protect you from me! Coward! And that was the end of that revolt. The Moon Bear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. This shield was a special one indeed, for within it still dwelled the power of the Moon Goddess's Knight, he whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, poor knight. I knew him, Kutaro. This flashy shield of his got him farther than most, but when you're pitted against the king, uh, fear got the better of him, and you're looking at the rest of him. These scratches, courtesy of the Moon Bear King. Just look what's become of the Moon Sigil. But the knight's honor carries the deepest gashes. He spent his final cowardly moments in disgrace. Oops, sorry, couldn't keep my paws off. <laughs> Just as long as you don't get smooshed in the process. Luna Glove! Now fend this sucker off! <laughs> there. You see? Some attacks can be turned against the attacker. Try pointing the shield upward. Good. Now point the shield downward. Moving on. Luna bit part. The best defense is someone else's offense. And the night shield, as it happens, was specially designed to deflect beams of magic light. Which is lucky for you, because here comes a doozy! Bounces at that grub there! Yeah! Just one more thing, dear. The shield wears out if you use it too much, so be sure to give it lots of rest. Got it? <laughs> then get lost. <laughs> oh, look! The witch conjured up an exit. How sweet. We should hurry before her magic fizzles out. Sadly, not all the castle's puppets were having the same luck as Kutaro. Winken, Blinken, and Nod here tried to make a break for it. And got broken for their trouble. The Moon Bear King's overblown guillotine was waiting to reduce all such traitors to scrap. Please, stay on your toes if you want to keep them. 
Looks like you'll need a head to get ahead. No defense is perfect. You'll find a weakness if you keep your eyes peeled. Bravo! An eye for an eye. Alright guys, so I think I'm actually going to end it here. That's it for this, um, uh, the puppeteer part. I'll see y'all in the next one, and yeah, bye!